Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more Victoria 3. We're just having our little election right now, where our government's going to lose a lot of legitimacy, and I'm not sure we'll be able to make a good government anymore. This is the part where democracy starts to suck. Seriously, freaking rural folk. Why are you so powerful? I'm petit bourgeois. I mean, I know exactly why. The answer is homesteading, but, you know. A revolution for propertyed women. I mean, yeah, I'm in. Good. 1.12 million individuals will become loyal when I do that. That's perfect. Alright. So the tooling workshops are good. We're recovering from being kicked out of the French market. We weren't really kicked out so much as France got kicked out of their own country. Uh, they're now military dictatorship. Which, while it sucks, isn't the end of the world. And our GDP is recovering fairly nicely, all things considered. I wonder. Negative 68. Hmm. Yeah, ideally we would get recognized soon, although that is generally pretty difficult. Glad to see that our balance is continually increasing. Yeah. Good. Uh, do we have enough taxation capacity everywhere? Looks like it. Yeah. I'm basically doing my best to try and get everything uh, pseudo-stable. And the next thing to do is uh, logging camps is going to electric sawmills. guys to steam trains. Mm -hmm. There. Every I did build a power plant literally everywhere, so like the system should get to work. Start generating power for our logging camps. Yep. Alright. And that should help our wood shortage question mark okay yeah, we're actually even right now and that's with the penalties so hopefully as we actually generate more electricity that will help further all right okay motor industries are coming in yeah, fairly profitable i'm trying to help the motor market Sports. Yeah, we're closing in on potentially finally getting human rights, which will be nice. So our government's contested right now. Uh, this is technically a better government. Well, I'm not really sure I want you guys in my government. You know? Yeah, on to guaranteed liberties. Especially since you guys will oppose this. Mm -hmm. Alright. <sighs> Seems like a lot of places are really struggling to get electricity generated. Uh, 
that's unfortunate. And I guess I'm probably going to have to subsidize these then. That'll be a bit of a hit to me, but that's okay. It's going to allow me to actually, you know, industrialize them in a lot of places. Assuming these places can even hire people, that's probably at least half the issue. This is the 121 Trade Center, for example, having some trouble. Which, fair enough, understandable. Mm -hmm. Being guaranteed liberties is going to be tricky. Tried to get my uh, intelligence yet to be as smart as possible, but it's not easy. That alone's a, like the first rule on those is usually like some of the biggest. All right. All right. So market-wise, all right, we've managed to get a positive balance of grain. Nice. We still need to find more opium to sell, or find more places to sell opium to, rather. Uh, and, I don't know, fabric. Like, theoretically, yes, but in practice, I'd like to be turning that into stuff. And currently, it seems like the world is all right on clothes. I need to try and sell more porcelain. We have an excess of sulfur, so general paper would be good. We're getting through it. Like, I've just still got so much stuff queued up. Mm, just don't worry, we'll get there. Once we're in Afghanistan, it's right, it's been done. Yeah. So, the paper will consume that or manifest it. Frame them as foreign puppets, that's perfect. We'll start moving to enact guaranteed liberties. Abolitionists. Do we have any communists nearby? No, not really. so often. Fair enough. Yeah, either way, the movement for guaranteed liberties is good, and this guy is very popular. So. Yeah. He's going to become very powerful. And help the uh, intelligentsia become more powerful. Alright, we got last of those coal mines. Speaking of those coal mines. Uh I don't even know where they are. I'm too busy in here. How is coal in our market? We actually have a surplus, so that's good. Glad to see it. Mm -hmm. How is iron? We also technically have a surplus. Glad to see it. Wow. Alright, that gets above 50. Looks like we're pretty secure in actually getting this passed. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the paper mills in Turkmenia will help. like to start uh, working a little bit more on steel as well if I can. Of course trying to find enough uh, peasants anywhere to do that in a reasonable amount is difficult. I think it will be eastern Afghanistan. Yeah we're past our old record. 
So, new GDP highs, although we're down a spot. By the looks of that, uh, probably because Italy became a thing finally. So, fair enough. Yeah, I'm still trying to uh, industrialize the crap out of myself here. Attractive, amicable. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're still in alliance with the Russians. God, that is a struggle. Alright. At some point, I also need to remind myself it would be a good idea. Uh, to maybe invest a little bit in the army instead of more construction. Although, somehow I doubt it. Let's go. We need construction. And man, do I need steel for what's coming. Yeah, guaranteed liberties. That's a good start. That'll help. That'll mean I need more bureaucracy, too, but that's fine. Perfect. There's a reason I've got more iron mines coming up too. But yeah, if I can deal with paper. Like, very good for me. Mm -hmm. Wow, another advance, good. But again, yeah, guaranteed liberties will be good though. Fifty-six. Yeah, we're climbing pretty quick. Although so is the U.S. Tempted to go and try and pass laissez faire next. Yeah. It'll shunt more of my construction queue into the uh, private sector, but that's okay. My investment pool is actually empty for once. So, I'm just been trying to get that growing a bit higher. I think I want to keep this going for now because. All right, let's go. An act of protection. They're pretty extreme. Yeah. Well, hopefully now, as I press ahead on home affairs and guaranteed liberties and all that, that'll help. Although, it feels like I may need a Manhattan building somewhere else. Not necessarily anywhere in particular, but just somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm concerningly angry. I mean, I can enact protectionism now. serfdom and anarchy. Support and sea of anger. Maybe all right. But yeah, I mean, our economy and our everything is continuing to expand and, oh boy, you know, we're up to 132 innovation. Nice. Finally, I'm gonna get vacuum canning. Machine steel tools for tooling workshops? Oh shit. Oh. I didn't know that was an option now, and suddenly rubber is important. Mm 
Hmm. All right, that's gonna make life uh, just harder for me. I never, I actually never noticed that before. Go ahead. Public enthusiasm. revolution though. You guys are just a little too powerful. Let's try and gain more loyalists. Well the skipper first time. I still have a thousand extra convoys. Well the skipper course on. Perfect. Yeah, it's a shame I can't really drag in too many immigrants right now. I wish I could. But I have no market. I suppose I can join the Russian Customs Union. That feels like I'm just going to kick myself in the teeth later though. You know? That feels like a really bad idea. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think following human rights and all this, we're going to start doing military sciences. Industrial ports. Oh uh, shit, that requires steamers. Ah, yes. So I will need to import steamships, eh? Or I think ironclads is a yeah, steamers, there we go. Import from the British. Great drink smack again. Yeah. Push it down. Everything's fine for now. On the edge. Give them what they ask for. Free trade party is slowly getting weaker. <laughs> Murderers cried the crowd. As we're on the eve of revolution. We struggle. Okay. Three grand. That is good, uh, good excess income. I want to make sure that we get our extra steel mills up and running right now. In preparation for steel construction. Oh uh, yeah, allow some more momentum for the free trade party, that's great. This election will put a lot more votes on in my favor, at least this time. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. Wild wells. Where there is oil, there will be blood. Oh. <sighs> Time for supplies. Alright. Election 
comes in. Yet, that brings us to a legitimate government. And that's what I like to see. Good news is that will also help bring in loyalists, so. I make a presidential republic, really? Or a parliamentary republic, this is fine. We do not need a president. Let's go. And there's more to build for Come on, hire more. We need a hammer. Perhaps the general can consider a kinder plan. loading artillery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have a whole lot of military development to do. At least society-wise, we're pretty much caught up now. Good to see. tight fight though and, but I think we'll be okay I think and man I have a lot of excess money coming in to be fair my gross domestic product does continue to climb at a pretty good rate there's stats oh. yeah, incentives good I'm hesitant to like build more iron mines. I'm worried that we are going to crash the price of iron pretty heavily when I do this. Um, Cause yeah, we'll use 2.3K less. We'll use 2.3K more steel and we'll use a hell of a lot of glass, which, well, okay, maybe I need to be reinforcing for some glass here. Out of curiosity, I've never even considered it, but a thought just popped in my head. I can control these individually, so I probably should. In that note, let's get to work. We're gonna need a lot more glass works, apparently. I need multiculturalism. Still can't invite anyone. Damn. Well, maybe if I'm lucky. Maybe if I'm lucky. I'll maybe get a communist, you know? Probably time for you to stand down, man. We're getting bellicose. Concessions and appeasement, by all means. Let's um, keep them happy. Because, yeah, these are kind of our counter revolutionaries at this point. The armed forces are neutral, and we lead the charge here with the industrialist intelligentsia. There is my usual power base in this game capitalism and science, baby. Actually reaching our cap. Good. Approaching full employment. Yeah, we have 350,000 peasants still. What's the surprise? I guess they're all in Afghanistan, though. Alright, and 
Come on, Lance, I tried to cap the episode. There we go. Which is another company for me. Uh. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna do United Coruscant Textiles and get the minus 10 percent radicals from standard living decrease. Honestly, pretty tempted to get rid of Persian minerals and instead grab the opium one. Yeah. Unless there's another 10 percenter, but I don't think there is. Yeah. Let's aim for. Another minus five percent radicals from standard living decrease. Perfect. So that will bring us down to negative. Uh, theoretically, uh, sixty-five percent radicals from standard living decreases. Once this is fully promoted, that'll help. Every little bit helps. All right. All the way with ethno state and the like. It's gonna be difficult to get any form of health insurance, man. Come on. The healthcare system would be greatly appreciated. It is not quite as easy to move through some of these laws as it used to be, though. I don't really want to empower my petite bourgeois anymore than they already are. Well, actually, they're getting a lot weaker these days. That's good. These are just to worry about my uh rural folk. They're the only counter-revolutionary force I really have to be afraid of. Oh well. With that in mind, that's going to be it for today, folks. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been Oblivious Kelvin. I'll see you guys next time. Oof, man, my hair's been fucked. Oh well. Take care, folks. Have a good night.